Hi, welcome for our, our online training sessions. In this session, I'm going to tell you an example for day tracking in Oracle Cloud Human Capital Management. Uh, most of the interviews, they'll be asking you uh, how the day track will be maintained in uh, human capital management in the cloud environment. So first we'll see what are the different modes we have in the day tracking. Let me take one object here. We'll see first functionally, then we'll see how it will work uh, technically also. It's one of the important question in the interviews. Different modes we'll find in the human capital management. Okay, so let me take one object called job. You can apply it for position, location, employee, uh, for any object, organizations, departments. Okay, everywhere we will find almost in every object. Let me open this task called manage job here. Open this task. I'm going to create a new job here. So I'm mentioning that date is uh, from January 2022. 1st January 2022 and the job name is let's say uh, Wipro Cashier is the job. That's a job name and job code I have specified and this record is start date is 1st January 2022. That's what I have specified. I'm not going to enter any other information. Let me just go for complete this process here and submit. So I have created record successfully from the front end. Before I start searching in the database, let me search in the front end first. Because sometimes if there is any approvals are enabled for this particular object, then again, we need to follow that approval. Now we got result means it's approved successfully. Now we'll see this uh, record in the database. Now we are going to see this record in the database let me open another window how we can connect to the database in cloud environment we'll go to navigator and then we will go to tools menu here let's go to navigator uh, tools menu and go to reports and analytics and then we click on this browse uh, catalog the moment when we click on this we'll enter into this bi environment i'm just trying to which for this, uh, let's choose uh, data source as human capital management. I'm trying to write uh, select query for underscore jobs underscore F. F stands for full view. I'll make another video about underscore F underscore M underscore VL underscore TL. These all tables. Now this is what the result. We are going to get it from the database. Right now we are getting all the jobs, uh, but I don't want uh, all the jobs information. I just need only my job information. We can search with the job code, right? I'm going to filter these records by writing here a job code where job code equal to whatever the job code we have specified. Now we'll find only one record at, a, at this point of time because just now we created a record, right? this okay so now i can see that this record is uh, valid from 2022 uh, january 1st this record effective start date and uh, if we look at effective end date is 4712 uh, we have not entered end date it takes automatically the last date is valid up to the 4712 that's uh, as per oracle and 12 means december and 31st okay so we have both date and as well as the time format. If at all we don't want this, what we can do, we can write a simple format here. Let's say we need a job ID, job code created by which user has created this record. And I'm going to take a two underscore cat. We can use this function to get this information start date and end date we'll find almost for every table this effective start date and effective end date okay uh, that we can find uh, in this environment let's search here and see the day a record output now we can find this this is our job code job id created by so and so user Start date is 1st January 2022. 
31st December 4712. That's the last date. Now I would like to modify this record. Whenever we want to modify the record, what we will do? We'll open this task. We'll open this task, search for this, sorry. Search for the record. And when I go for edit, now two modes are there. So here the question in the entry point of you are in the project is, if I click correct and do the making changes in correction mode, what will happen? And if I do it in update mode, what will happen? This is what we call it as a day track in human capital management. We don't find these options in financials or in supply chain management. We'll find only in human capital management. Okay, so correction mode uh, is going to be overwrite. It's going to overwrite your record. It's not going to maintain the history. It's a very simple answer. If we update the record, what happened? System will maintain the history. It will create a new record into the database and the existing record will be disabled by setting the effective end date. If I do correction, it will overwrite the existing record. There won't be any history maintained. We don't find any history for that record. Okay. Let me show you first update. So if I go for update here. So from which date you would like to make these changes? From October 1st onwards, I would like to have some changes in this record. So I said effective start date is so and so date. So whenever we select October 1st, onwards we want to change this, right? Then system will disable the current record on 30 September because next day is October, right? October 1st. So current record will end date will be 30. Present whatever record end date is there, that's going to be 30. This, see, this end date is right now, this value is there, right? After we complete this transaction in update mode, this will become as 30 September 2022 and it will insert another record with start date as 1st October 2022. It means the old record will be disabled, the new record will be inserted. So that history will be maintained for the current record. So I'm just trying to make some changes here. I'm going to say that this job is uh, full time and regular having some job functionality. Let's say level is 11, job level is 11, and I did some changes done successfully here. Earlier, it was null values, full-time, regular, clinical level. These all values are earlier. Null values, we made some changes, right? Now we will go back to this. In the front end, also, we can see. For example, if I click search button, and if I go to this record, we don't find that uh, update information here. I don't find. I'm not able to see that uh, latest information, right? But we did successfully. Why we are not able to do? The reason is very simple. You are searching for a record with effective date of today. Today is 15th September, right? Today is 15th September. Obviously, 15th September, this information only is there. This information is fixed up to 30 September. Whatever the changes we have done, those are effective from 1st October. For example, I want to know what will be this record on October 1st. So go for October 1st, 2022, and then you can find this record changes. Whatever the changes we have done, we can find here. So you can see the future uh, updates also because you can specify the effective as of date, whatever the date you would like to see that we can enter and go for search the data here it is. Okay, so now the same information I wanted to see in the back end. Obviously, uh, in the back end also two records we will find. We'll find see. Now the old record. It's valid uh, from 1st January 2022. See, this ended on 30th September. And the new record is valid from 1st October. Again, it's valid up to 4,712. That is the latest one. 
that is the latest one okay start date and end date options so whenever we go for update mode what happened system will insert a new record and whatever the start date you mentioned from that date it will be effective start date the previous record previous date will be ended we selected from october 1st our update record should be exist then what happened immediately it took 30th september is the previous day previous day that is the end date means from october 1st onwards if you search in the application in the front end if you search you don't find the old record you will find the latest one okay depends on the date so internally we will we'll find this data effective start date and effective end date that's why whenever we are working in human capital management when we are working with bi reports whenever we are writing the queries we will find multiple records means duplicate records we have to be very careful with the end date effective end date and effective start date that we have to take care that's why almost in every query we are going to write a filter we are going to write a where clause to filter and get the active date it's as simple as where system date is uh, between this start date and end date automatically we will get the latest record from the database tables from the database table this is very important uh, when we talk about uh, the report point of view or interview point of view also okay. thank you